Okay, after the popularity of my um, uh, 3D programs on the Amiga, I thought I'd do a walkthrough of how to install the emulator. So you need to buy the ROMs, um, so you can buy them here, and that's, that covers all of them from 500 to the 4000 as far as I'm aware. You then need to download the operating system, so search Workbench 3.1, because we're going to do a 1200 ADF, that's the disk image format download and then you that will bring you here just hit download get a raw like this and then you need to search for extras ignore the extra uh, you go so we want um, extras local fonts Workbench install. Ignore the ones with the extensions. So go go into each of those and pull out the image, the disk image file, and put that in a folder. So I've done that, um, and then run WinUE. It will complain that it won't have the ROMs, right? So what you need to do is, first of all, I'm going to make a new um, configuration. A just so we can save all the settings, so we'll just save that and then we'll go ROMs and we'll go and hunt for the ROMs. So, wherever you've, wherever you've put them from, you know, uh, from Amiga Forever, where you it will give you a link to download them. Okay, so that's the ROM we want for the you might have to rename it, um, but that's the that's the 1200 ROM so I'm just going to check that works so configuration save and then just double click and we should get into the boot screen great that's working I'm going to and then you press F12 to get back out of it I'm going to crank up the to make it a bit faster let's go with no 40 um, you can you're gonna to have to experiment with some of these settings but it can get a bit unstable if you go for the super fast thing, so I'm just going to go with 040. Um, and then we want to go, want to create some hard drives. So add a hard drive file. We'll call it dh0. And we'll give it 100 megabytes. Hit create. And then it will say, well, where do you want to put this? We're create, so we're creating a hard disk image. So I'm going to call it dh0 dot hdf for the hard disk uh, image format save that okay great oh, it's done it <laughs> um so it's already done it right and so we go okay and then we want to create another one and this will be where you put your games or, or applications so we're going to call this dh1 and then we'll give that 100 megabytes and we'll hit create and then we'll have to call that dh dh1 dot h okay okay so we now have two and so just again configuration save um, and then we want to go to the floppies and we'll just start with um, install in fact we can do all of them workbench extras so it's like having four drives <laughs> floppy drives extras storage okay it's configuration save and then just double click on that it should boot up Okay, so reading the disks there, you see the where it's just 30, 40, 40, it's just reading the disks. Come on, we should be in there. Oh, there we go. And we should have, uh, why can't we see the, ah, oh, there we go. So we need to format these. Format disk, so these are the hard disks. 
don't, I don't bother. We'll call that workbench format. I should have gone with a quick one. Just pause the video. If you press the middle mouse button, you get your Windows mouse cursor back. Okay, it's almost done. And we'll format that one. We'll go with a quick one this time. We'll call apps. Quick format, format, format. There we go, right. Then we just need to click on install and run the installer. Install, go with English. I think you can, we're running the floppy disks at um, normal speed but if we just I'm just going to F12 to see if we can so you can we can increase the speed I'm not sure that's a great idea to do that right now but let's just go back to go back to I'm going to just let it do its thing Okay, it's port install. Are you sure? Yes. I'm going to increase the speed. Let's go super fast. Eight times the speed. Right, let's try again. Doesn't seem to be much different. Might have to restart the. Let's do that. Let's actually do a restart. I think we have to do that. Okay, let's just go F12. And we can go reset. Let's just crank through the floppies a lot faster now. There we go. Right, install English. And then we'll have to specify which disk I seem to remember. There doesn't seem to be any difference. Proceed. Store. Proceed. Proceed. Don't have any printers. British. Off it goes. So yeah, if you want to, if you want to install a, an app, let's say like Deluxe Paint or something, you need to find the AD, ADF image file online, and it'll be exactly the same. You'll go, you'll have the put the disk in, or put the disk, let it boot into Workbench first by not having any floppies um, mounted in the Win U A E, and then uh, boot into Workbench, and then press F12 and then say I want to mount this disk locale so here we need to swap disks so if I press F12 and then go uh, let's check this one or the first one locale okay proceed should come back to us there we go and then it probably wants to ask for the other one as well, storage, I think. A font, okay, so let's get rid of that. 
font. Okay, I think it will detect it automatically once the it picks it up. There you go. So that's how you swap disks. Yeah, the, the speed thing, some games will probably freak out if you try and do them eight times the speed, but because this is like utility stuff, I'm sure it'd be fine. Right, well, install. Nearly done. There we go. I'm going to eject the disks. Configuration, save. Why is that not working? Yeah, that's it all working. I don't know what that so that's basically how you do it. Um, uh, DF, oh, it doesn't know what. Let's try enabling it and just putting a disk in there. Extras or something. Let's see if that sorts them out. Let's go 100% compatible. Okay. We're trying to restart. Yeah, that all seems to be fine. Okay, so that's it basically. The mouse button to get the thing. 